In Grant Morrison's Batman and Robin run, Damian Wayne's portrayal as Robin is a pivotal part of the story's dynamic. Damian Wayne, the biological son of Bruce Wayne, aka Batman, and Talia Al Ghul, takes on the mantle of Robin after his father's apparent death in Final Crisis. Raised by the League of Assassins, Damian has a violent, ruthless streak and initially struggles with the more disciplined, moral approach to crime fighting that the Robin mantle requires. Under Morrison's pen, Dick Grayson, formerly known as Nightwing, steps into the role of Batman after Bruce Wayne's disappearance, creating a stark contrast with Damien. Dick's lighter, more empathetic version of Batman contrasts with the fiery, aggressive personality of Damien's Robin, forming the crux of the story's tension. This reversal of the traditional Batman-Robin dynamic, with Robin being darker and Batman being more optimistic, is one of the defining features of this run. Throughout the series, Damien grapples with his heritage, torn between the Algol legacy of assassins and his new role as Robin under the moral code of the Bat family. His internal struggle leads to character growth as he begins to trust and respect Dick, while also slowly adopting the ethics and discipline of being a hero. However, his violent upbringing and arrogance often put him at odds with Dick and other heroes. The run also introduces Damien to new challenges, including clashes with grotesque villains like Professor Pig and Dr. Hurt, who push him to his limits. Damien's complicated relationship with his mother and his loyalty to the Bat family, particularly to Dick, is explored throughout. Morrison's Damien Wayne is not a conventional sidekick. He's brash, conflicted, and often difficult to like. But this makes his evolution as Robin all the more compelling. He grows into a hero in his own right. Even as he struggles to define his own identity within the shadow of both his parents. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we're taking a close look at the brand new McPerlin DC Direct Page Punchers Damian Wayne Robin, inspired by Grant Morrison's iconic Batman and Robin run. I've been eagerly waiting for McPerlin to release this version of Robin, especially after reviewing the Dick Grayson Batman figure. Morrison's run is one of my all-time favorites and it really deepened my connection with both Dick and Damien, turning them from characters I didn't really pay much attention to into two of my absolute favorites in the entire DC universe. I must admit, I'm pleasantly surprised by this Page Puncher's release. Rather than creating a version of the character based on an original comic they created, McPerlin has based this figure on a previously released iconic comic storyline, and they've absolutely nailed it. Kicking things off with Morrison's Batman and Robin is a huge win for fans. This series is a must-read for any Batman fan, and I really hope McPerlin continues this trend of paying homage to classic comic runs. Let's dive into the details of this figure and see how, the, how it stocks up. Right out of the box, I can already tell this is going to be a solid figure. But let's get to the big question. How does it scale with the Dick Grayson Batman? I think it works pretty well. Thankfully, McFarlane did not use the same body mold as the newer Tim Drake figure, which would have been too big and completely out of scale for Damien. This one feels more accurate, though I still imagine Damien Wayne being a bit younger and shorter. Personally, 
I think the ideal body mold for Damien would be something closer to the Dick Grayson Robin figure that uses the Robin body mold from the Dark Knight Returns build a horse wave. That size and proportion feels more in line with how I picture Damien, smaller and much younger. But all in all, this figure still works and it's definitely a solid addition to the collection. Believe it or not, McFarlane really nailed the head sculpt on this figure. I'm a big fan of it. It perfectly captures Damien's signature arrogance and the brushness of his youth. Traits that are such a big part of his personality and, let's face it, part of what makes him so appealing as a character. They really brought that attitude to life in this sculpt. Another great choice McFarlane made with this figure is giving Damien not only a wired cape, but also a wired hood. This really takes the figure's playability to the next level, adding a ton of versatility for posing and display. It's those little details that increase the pan factor and make this figure stand out. Now let's talk about the torso sculpt. While the R logo isn't sculpted, it's done really clean and sharp, which I appreciate. What I really like though is that the three lines on the red part of the costume are actually molded in, giving the figure some nice texture. All the sculpted details add more depth and makes the costume visually interesting, which is a big win for me. Moving on to the arms, I love the added texture on the black portions of the costume. It really gives it a more premium feel. Plus, the molded details on the green gauntlets are a great touch, adding extra depth and making the overall design even more eye-catching. Little details like this make the figure stand out. Now for the legs, I really appreciate the sculpted details that break up the design into sections. Even though this part of the costume is supposed to be plain black, the added sculpting actually elevates the look and make it, makes it more visually interesting. Not sure if these are reused parts, but in this case, it works. The knee pads are a great touch and the green shoes are sculpted really well. They fit Damien's character perfectly. Overall, these little details really enhance the figure's design. Now let's talk accessories. This is where the figure falls a bit short, in my opinion. He only comes with one sword as his weapon, and unfortunately, no alternate hands or other accessories. It's a bit of a letdown, especially for a character like Damien who usually comes with more gear. A few extra options would have really elevated the figure's overall value. Now for the more standard items he comes with. Uh, since this is part of the Page Punchers line, Damien includes a copy of Batman and Robin No. 1 by Grant Morrison. An amazing comic, by the way. He also comes with the usual McFarlane art card and standard stand or base. Pretty standard pair, but the comic inclusion is a nice touch for collectors and fans of Morrison's run. He also comes with this broken Professor Pig mess, which is a pretty specific accessory, but a nice touch for fans of the character. It might not mean much to everyone, but it's a cool addition if you're into building the Uramas. Especially if, fingers crossed, McFarlane actually releases a Professor Pig figure. It adds a bit of storytelling to the display, which is always a plus. For articulation, let's start with the head, which I believe is one of the strengths of this figure. Because you can actually look up that high. So you can put him in a diving pose. And yeah, that looks really great.
on looking down yep that's actually pretty good you can look down pretty good then side to side yeah yeah amazing head articulation hand articulation so we can rotate like that we can do that and then bicep cut double jointed elbow then double peg wrist we also have that standard McPerlane uh, circular like circle cup there so we can do that I'm actually glad that they did not use the style of articulation wherein they put the ab cut here because sometimes that really destroys the sculpt and for me in the style of this costume I'm glad that they decided to do it this way I'm willing to sacrifice the abdominal articulation for this skull it does feel like there is something there so yeah you can still look down look and backward that far and forward a little he does have a waist retention for the leg yeah not not that much there he can do the bend down which is pretty good because considering that this should be a very agile character you can kick forward that far and you can kick back that far so we can actually do the split double jointed knee then there's articulation there I was actually thinking that it might be limited by the design of the boots but yeah you can still do that and side to side and then of course the toe articulation So, for an Agile character, I think the articulation that was given to him is actually pretty good. Alright, so here's my final verdict. The McPerlin Peach Punchers Damian Wayne Robin is a solid addition to any DC collection, especially if you're a fan of Grant Morrison's Batman and Robin Wood. The sculpting is detailed and well thought of with some great design choices like the wired cape and hood. The head sculpt really captures Damien's personality and the added texture throughout the costume make it stand out. That said, the figure does fall short in the accessories department with only a sword and a broken pig mess. I would have loved to see some alternate hands or more weapons to match Damien's character. Still, the inclusion of the Batman and Robin number no. 1 comic is a great bonus for collectors. Overall, if you're a fan of Damien Wayne or this particular storyline, this figure definitely is worth adding to your shelf. As always, thanks for watching and let me know in the comment what you think about the figure or if you're hoping for a full Professor Pig release. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more reviews. See you in the next one.